Hey guys, uh, Brian here. Just wanted to do a real quick video on some some uh, new prepper items. Uh, so, you know, first off, I just got this. Uh, it's a 22. Uh, it's a Savage 22 long rifle. I just got that the other day. Uh, I actually took it out yesterday afternoon with my me and my brother. Took it out to the gun range uh, for the first time, and uh, it was it worked out well. No, uh, like no issues at all with the jamming and stuff. We're still trying to get the sights and stuff. Uh, you know, at, you know, accurate. I think we. I think we had to improve it. It kept, it kept kind of going left on, you can kind of see that target back there, but you know, it seemed like it was kind of going, it tended to go left. So we're still kind of, I think we got it pretty well tweaked, uh, but still working on that. And I'm definitely not an expert on sighting these. So I'm still kind of learning a uh, part of that as well and stuff. So um, yeah, it shoots really well. Uh, very, like, very, basically very, very little kickback um, at all on this thing. Uh, which is one reason kind of why I thought, you know, this would be a good starter point for, for a rifle for me, uh, just to kind of get used to it. Uh, and it's, you know, with that, you know, less of a kick, you know, on it, um, you know, just makes it more, more accuracy uh, and, and, you know, overall, and it's be a really good hunting uh, gun for small game, that type of, you know, small to medium sized game. Uh, and even for self, you know, self-defense to a point, you know, uh, it can still, uh, still be deadly. Uh, as needed so i did upgrade and this was like from academy the the gun itself was 130 bucks um plus tax is like 140 dollars uh, i went ahead and added the scope you can see i got a got a, a bushnell scope on here uh it gets a, a three to nine times zoom on it which really came in handy at the range uh yesterday uh, we had a hundred a uh, hundred yard range but we didn't go that far out but we just went to I think the max that we did was like was it 60 something yards but uh for now just since we were kind of getting getting used to it and then i went ahead and upgraded uh to the you know a, a nice uh, shoulder strap to kind of match and i'm probably gonna go i'm gonna go buy another magazine probably today at academy but i've got like one magazine in here um and then i picked up a, a big box of, of ammo i actually got that that one their gun range i've got two more small boxes as well that i got at academy and these are pretty cool. I don't know if you if y'all have seen these, but um, when I was at Academy buying this, I mentioned about the ear protection for the gun range. And um, th these are electronic earmuffs. They're uh, they're fifty bucks a piece, um, but man, they were they are really cool. Uh, let me see if I can pull that out here. But if you can see, they just take take a couple batteries, and there's a little off and on switch here, and, and a volume control right here. And so the uh, it even comes with two batteries. It comes with that, but uh, we used that uh, yesterday at the gun range, and it was really cool that like basically you can hear each other talk in these uh, while at the gun range. But it, but it basically cuts out the noise on loud uh, items. So and there was even a guy that was in that came in eventually came in next to us, and his his gun was way louder than ours, but. Uh, and you could really notice it, you know, um, and so I was able to, you know, turn, you know, we could turn down the volume a little bit on our earmuffs on these. And so they're, you know, really nice, uh, like I said, but you can still, you're not having to yell at each other uh, while in there. You can still communicate. Uh, so very, very nice and effective. I, you know, I felt like it was well worth it, even though like they are 50 bucks a piece. Um, but, you know, if you're trying to communicate, things like that, um, you know, and, and, um, you just have you know just to me it just helps with you know having a good time and, and being able to talk and stuff while you're in there and stuff so i you know i definitely recommend they have more expensive ones as well that, that are even fancier than these but you know i think that's a, that was a really good option uh, so i was glad i got those also i was going to point out what i got recently it was something on my list for a while i've been been kind of eyeing and let me kind of back up here a little bit so not the fruit basket we've had that <laughs> but uh, I got one of these little uh, cart things at Sam's. It's, it's uh, kind of like it's a wholesale, kind of like a Costco. But they had this. I've, I've been wanting one for a while, uh, but it's a nice cart. It's a really good size one. And it's got these, uh, I really like the big wheels on that. If you can see the big wheels on this thing uh, for, you know, kind of a variety of terrain, right? These things are pretty big. And got some, they even got some little, little tread on there. Um, and then it's got some pockets on here. It's hard to see, probably it's so dark, but... There's some little, there's two uh, cup holders there. And then on this side, you've got like a pocket, like a, like a big pocket thing on the other side over there. Okay. So pretty cool. Um, you know, and it fold, and this thing folds up too as well. It really folds up. It's really cool. So, um, so this thing actually folds up to about, you know, I'd say maybe, maybe about a fourth of this, maybe a little bit more. Um, 
a fourth of the size that there's a, this is like an insert that actually reattaches to it and stuff on there but so that piece comes out and, and it attaches to one of the other sides and then i can uh just fold the whole thing up um, but pretty cool I, I you know i wanted to get uh, one of these for a variety of reasons um it can also help you know for just transporting stuff in general if you're going to the lake uh, things like that um emergency preparedness in terms of you know if, if i'm if you know if me and my family are on foot um then it'd be nice to have a couple of these where i can you know i can throw in you know especially heavy stuff i've got you know a big you know tent and uh, just supplies you know um you know water or whatever i you know i can i can pack in some stuff if i have to if i if, if we were evicted or something uh type of thing or, or you know for a place of living burned down or whatever as long as I got these out, or I can even keep, you know, keep one of these in a the car. So I'll probably get another one of these eventually. Uh, but this is a good start, uh, to, you know, a good starter point. Like I said, it was 90 bucks uh, at Sam's where I got it. Okay, so um, also I always talk about knowledge and stuff too, and I wanted to show. So I got a couple. This is a new book I just got in. as a, a No Grid uh, Survival Projects, and so. Um, you know something i've seen it i found it online i think there was a commercial or something on youtube or something about it and so i was like i have got to have it and i think it was only like i was like 30 bucks or less um and what i'd like you know i got it in the mail and sometimes you get these in sometimes they're a little bit cheaply made but this one's actually pretty good it's got pretty good cover it's even got color photos which i was impressed i was like oh okay so it's got some color photos in here it's pretty good instructions it looks like on how to uh, make stuff so you know, uh, while this may not be something to, to sit here and read day to day, it's something to have, um, you know, for a rainy day. Um, and then also there's, you know, I got this, this was actually an e-guide that I got, but it was, it wasn't too long. So I went ahead and, um, you know, it's through like the grow network and they have like a thing you can sign up for information on there as well. So I went ahead and printed it out. If I can, if it's not too crazy to print out, then I, then I will. Um, and I can just, I can even just tuck this in one of these books. And kind of have it okay also um this this right here you know i got these you know uh, it was on it was on clearance at a dollar store uh for what a dollar 80 a piece you know, for some instant oatmeal um i recommend you know just as you're out and about kind of keep an eye on the clearance sections for a lot of these stores just keep an eye on it because you know it's you know you can really uh, especially stuff like that that you can stash away you know for a while um it'll it'll last it'll last you know, quite a while on some of this uh so it could really come in handy in the long run uh if you have stuff like that stored up so um, but yeah just a couple of things a couple of uh things to point out uh didn't have any uh silver and gold this time uh, but these are some things on my list uh, for sure in terms of security uh and like i said mo mobility uh and then also knowledge and um and of course you know continuing to stack up backup you know food and stuff um everything too so and i've been getting this food i think i mentioned that in one of my other videos as well and that uh you know i just gotta show this you know this freezer i got a while back and is uh you know pretty plumpful <laughs> so i've been kind of we've been kind of stocking up on, on stuff for the freezer as well um and the, the uh, pantry which i'm i'm going to try to clean the pantry out today probably i need to go clean that out uh and stuff too so that's one of my goals for this weekend so, so, but, uh, yeah, hang in there guys and, uh, keep on, keep on stacking and keep on prepping. Talk to you later.